Crop is damaged, but then if the rains fail, they could have a disaster. Yeah. So, so, so we tried to, yes, you are correct, we tried here to uh, make it as close as to what farmers, farmers face in eastern India. And yes, we, we drained these fields after two weeks after transplanting. And uh, of course, there were some rains in between here. Uh, but after the rains, uh, drought, drought developed quite, quite fast in, the, in this field also. And we, we could see the clear cut differences here. It's, it, to me, it's, uh, when you really look at these differences, you, you have to realize what it would mean to a, to a farmer. I mean, in a, in a situation where you have a drought, this is your normal crop. This is the kind of crop you're going to get, and, and you're not going to get much rice. Uh, so if you just look at this plot in isolation, you would say, well, it's, it's not that high yielding compared to a good rice crop, but it's much better than this, and in a, in a difficult year, that amount of rice is going to make a huge difference to a farmer compared to that amount of rice. So uh, we're talking about major impact uh, in terms of improving the livelihoods of farmers that are in these uh, unfavorable environments. That would be good results. Are you going to the meeting in Raipur next uh, month? Yeah, 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 okay. Go to Raipur and just I know you're going to Kadek uh, in yeah, uh, a week later. And usually, uh, if they're underwater for a week or so, uh, they, they usually can survive fairly well. E a few days, no problem. But after a week, they start uh, dying. And you get very few plants that can survive more than 10 days underwater. Visually, by looking at the amount of grain uh, that we harvested from each plot. So it's very interesting because for ordinary people, the same thing, uh, let's say, PowerPoint presentation, uh, sometimes they will not believe. But this is really to see is to believe because they see how the plants grow, how they recover, you know, because of this uh, new uh, technology. I think plant breeders are, you know, they're used to being pretty patient because we we have to wait for a whole crop cycle uh, just to get the, the next generation of the plants that we are working on. Uh, but for most people, I think being able to see it in a two to four minute period is definitely a plus. Yeah, I think I think that uh, 